heel that knocks it back. I swing your arm around, and then I'm going to step in, go around the equator, over the north pole. Quick jar stuff with the down to these uh, elements. It works because you can't resist force if you want to two directions. If she holds her fist out here and she's got to keep me from pushing on it, she can resist this force. I'm going to push down, she can resist this force. But you can't resist this force and then that force at the same time. So if I'm pushing this way, I go this way and she's just going to go down because you can't resist both at the same time. Bob used to show this to stand on, on one foot. I'm going to put your shoulders here. Put your hands here. I'm going to lean on you slowly. At the same time, you're going to go up on my elbows. So you're going to push up on my elbows. Now I'm going to go down that way. And she's not going to follow me because I can't resist. I can't exert energy this way. At the same time, I'm exerting energy with that way. That's why it works. So on this next one, John is dropping attention. She's going to be in the left lead. She throws a right punch. I'm going to block left. I palm heel. I pass this over. And then I'm going to go here. The left lead, right punch, I block. Palm heel that knocks her back. I swing her arm around, and then I'm going to step in, go around the equator, over the North Pole this way. And I have her here. I'll do it on the other side. So I just come up, palm heel, swing the arm around, and then I'm going to go here. As this arm's got to find her base, right here, and I'm just going to dunk her head in the basket that way. So. Palm heel. She steps back. I feed the arm. The forward is I'm going to make a small little shuffle here, and then I'm going to rotate it behind her this way. When I do that, my right hand is already turning her head around the equator as I come in. And then I don't do that way. So the footwork is just here. Smash, boom. I come into here. And then with both hands this way. Uh, pin the wall, just pretend there's a wall behind me. She's going to push into here. I'm going to hit this. It's the same time I hit here. All the way through to my shoulder. And then I come back to the bridge of the nose. And then I come back to my shoulder. So she's feeling that. So one, two, I come back, and now my hands switch hands. As I seat, my right hand takes over, controlling the grab, and then I rotate to here. I get her off balance, and then I'm going to rotate here as I around the corner here, and then I'm going to come into here, and then I just go down like better angle on the other side. So she grabs it here. I hit here. So I smack here. I come back. And then I just see. Then I come back. I rotate here. Then this arm slips over to be the fulcrum. Goes around the corner, around the equator. And I come down here into the close shears position here that we did a couple weeks ago. And then I just open up the shear as I scoop her arm out here. And then I go down to here. Good questions. So it's just one, two, three, over here. Come around here. Keep the head close to me. If I rotate here and I let the head float out to here, she's going to fall over there. And then she can roll out, and I can't control where she drops. So as she grabs here, in here like this, smack, seat, come down, and then I get the over, come back and keep this close to me here. And then I rotate her side of control, there she goes.
the